So, Ethan, for someone who's never played Minecraft or Dungeons and Dragons, what a shame! Please describe to that person, that sad, sad person, <laughs> what an iron golem is. Wait, which one? What it looks like? Wait, the D and D one or the Minecraft one? Sorry, the D and D one. Oh, okay. Okay, so basically, <laughs> you might think iron golem probably very big and scary. Well, this kind of surprised me. They're only twelve feet tall, generally. So they're pretty tall they're a large construct and of course they're made of iron but they're kind of shaped into a medieval knight look so they have this plated armor all over them which is them but they between weigh five thousand pounds that is very heavy yeah or and they're they're the height of a basketball hoop that's 12 feet yeah basically so very scary so technically michael jordan could still dunk on them he could roast Iron Golem. I don't think they could jump Iron Golems. Yeah, may- maybe not. 5, pounds well, anyway. Yes, yeah, Yes. So, basically, they are 5,000 pounds of pure iron. They uh, have super long, um, lanky arms compared to other Golems and stuff. And they hold a mighty blade, which can be magical or non-magical. Normally, it's a sword. But um, they, they also can have magical components about them. So in the inside of the of this um I almost said Goliath golem is um fire and other magical elements in this golem. So you might mm. see green eyes to fiery orange and even blue eyes, which is really cool. Which is just so hot that which it's is the so blue hot. Fire. Yeah. Some iron golems can actually have if they have orange eyes, they'll be steaming and they're the they'll be hot to the touch. Mm. Yeah, there's fire in them. And um, some even come with some cool magic carvings on them. So pretty cool stuff. Okay. That nice. is kind of the basics of a golem. A giant armored yeah. killing machine that will kill you in milliseconds. Double uppercut. Yeah. So like Ethan yeah. said, they're kind of just a humanoid iron being that's pretty tall. Uh, but the golem's main claim to fame in terms of all golems is that they are immune to pretty much... Literally most things everything. so that's kind of what golems are all about they're all about just being tough and hard to kill because nothing hurts them they are tanks and tanks of D. yes and then iron golems are a little special uh because they have a sword which is kind of like their own aesthetic uniqueness um so that's something that if you see that it's probably an iron golem they also have a breath weapon which is pretty interesting they do we'll get into everything they have but what's unique about them is typically the sword um compared to other golems their personality uh, on a basic level, which there really is only a basic level, They're is fu- is oh. just a ro- is a robot. I thought they were fun loving. They like roses and children. And Maybe they, they know, do, but they don't show. You it. know, they give roses when you're nice to the villagers. Oh, <laughs> uh-huh. Minecraft. We're getting sorry. it mixed up yeah, again. Sorry. Yeah, no, the D and D Iron Golem is is close to mindless as you can get. Um, even compared to other golems, and we will come and we'll go into that later. So that's their basics. Let's get into their stats. So, with their basic stats, they have an AC of twenty. Oh my! Tank, tank yeah. level. They have HP of one hundred and ten. Insane level. Their speed is thirty feet. Pretty normal. They are a CR sixteen. Just to make that clear. And uh, let's get to their base stats. So their strength, obviously, they're pretty, um, they're golems. So they got a plus 7 to strength. Really strong. Their dexterity is lacking, though, with a minus 1. Their con, though, really good with a plus 5, as they are golems. Their intelligence, minus 4. Literally nothing. Empty space. Yep. Little brain. Their wisdom is a plus zero because they don't have instincts or anything. They just do what they do. So yeah. And then the charisma, v- literally nothing. It's a minus five. Yeah, it's as it doesn't low, even exist. It's as low as possible. It's yeah. a it's a one in terms of the actual score, and the modifier is a minus five. So a rock is zero. They are a one just because I guess you they can per- you can move. like personify them to some extent because of their appearance. But, like, they have absolutely no personality at all. Uh, Yeah, and so what you get from that is they're brawlers with the high strength and high con. Um, And they're also ridiculous tanks with 210 HP and an AC of 20. They are stupid tanks. One of the highest armor classes in the game. Yeah, not only Mm -hmm. 
is it really difficult to hit them and deal damage at all, but they have a bunch of hit points. But it gets even worse, and let me get into it. They have immunities. Oh. So even if you hit them, these types of damage will deal nothing, will do nothing. They're immune. They're not they're not resistances, they're immunities. They have com- they will deal they will take no damage from these. And the types of damage that they are completely immune against are fire, poison, psychic, all the basic ones, so bludgeoning, piercing, slashing. Um and all of those which are from non-magical attacks that are not adamantine. So if something's magical or adamantine, it's going to take the damage. Otherwise, you're not dealing damage to it. Not at all. Yeah, so that means not even the Tarask can touch it, technically. Not even the highest dragon can touch it, unless it's a breath weapon and special. But yeah, generally, yeah. not a lot of things can touch this thing. Yeah, not a lot of your basic adventurer's abilities. Like, yeah. you'd have to pull out you know something that deals like cold damage or you know something that does thunder thunder damage lightning damage lightning i don't is that i don't think that's one of them yeah it is it is oh yeah. okay is, that's Th- different than thunder damage thunder is like it's sound the shock wave yeah, yeah it's, it's a like, yeah um but those are not common right like you probably have some spells that can do that but you ain't gonna be commonly pulling out your long sword that deals thunder damage so <laughs> it's it's very hard to hit them and even if you do hit them you know, they got a bunch of hit points. Mm-hmm. So they are tanks. They are tanks. Now, they are also immune to some conditions, and those conditions are charmed. Don't try it, bards. Yeah, don't try it. Exhaustion, frightened, paralyzed, petrified, and poisoned. None of those things they can be. And that just further limits your options as its uh, adversary. You can't start making it roll, you know, uh, saving throws to, to have magical conditions because they're immune to most of them. So they're they're tanks. They're just in, they're, you're just not going to be doing much to them. You you better run, or you better have some very specific types of damage. High power. Yeah. And this is why they are CR sixteen. This is basically the only reason that this just mixture of defenses that make them almost unstoppable. So, let's get into what they can do to you. Well, you're right. There is one more thing that makes them even more tanky. There's three things that makes them more tanky. Two things are, one thing is not tankiness. I can get into them. Okay. They're, um... The features. Yeah, the features. They can, um, not be polymorphed into anything else. So those wizards that could say, that Tarask is a bunny rabbit now, and then they curb stomp it, you can't do that to this Goliath. It's called immutable form. It's a yes. feature. Literally, so it means you cannot change its shape no matter what. No ifs, no buts, no. Yeah. No wizards. No. Bad wizards, sorry. Which just kind of protects it from a kind of a loophole tactic of fighting. Yeah. So annoying. <laughs> sorry. Um, it also has magic resistance, which is pretty big. So basically it gets advantage on all checks that uh, that has anything to deal with spells or other magical effects. So if you're trying to shoot a fireball at it, if it it you know, it has advantage on Anything that deals with magic has advantage on its saving throw. Yeah, so it's more likelihood of you not doing stuff mm-hmm. to it. And last and surely, if you think, oh, what if I have immunity to all of its things, you know? All physical attacks does nothing to me. Well, you're you're not in luck. It does magical attacks. It'll just go through your resistances. So. Yes. So it doesn't even matter. Yeah, it so doesn't it, even care. Yeah, its weapons do not... Yeah, they're magical. And so the last feature they have, which is the most uh, dangerous and most infamous and most mm-hmm. powerful feature of the Iron Golem specifically, is they have fire absorption. Which is insane. Yes. Not only do they have a high armor class, high HP, a bunch of immunities, you know, impossible to, to hit with magic, they also can take fire damage and heal from it. So not only are they immune from fire damage, but if you deal fire damage to them or they deal it to themselves, they will heal those hit points instead of taking them, whatever the damage would have been. So basically, which brings up a good thing, fire is the most used attack form in magic, in the school of magic. So Right. Fire is the most common attack form. So basically, rip all your ma- all magic users, fire does literally not. it literally helps it. So Yeah, and don't, don't pull out that flame tongue. Yeah. Or don't let that your pet dragon shoot fire at it. Right, or you'll just be helping it. Yep. Okay, so those are all its features, all its defenses, 
um, this is what it can do to you. And it's pretty simple. It's got a multi-attack of two melee attacks. So any of their melee attacks, they can do twice. They can pick and choose which two. They can double up, whatever. The options they have are slam, which is your classic kind of big brute attack, which does 20 damage on average, 3d8 plus 7. That's a lot. Bludgeoning damage. Yeah, and so that's basically the equivalent of a giant iron fist just punch, punching you. Yeah. The other attack they have, which is unique to them, is sword. So they have a giant iron sword that deals around 23 damage. So that's 3d6, or sorry, 3d10s plus 7 slashing damage. And out of these two, they can pick and choose what they want to do. So they can do two sword attacks, two slam attacks, or one of each. Now, what they also have is their kind of uh, interesting attack that makes them not super boring, and that is poison breath. I would think it would be fire. Yeah, I, you know, th- like I think it eats it'd be fire. fire doesn't well, it shoot fire? We'll like- get into why it's poison breath, but it is poison breath. Um, and yeah, it doesn't exactly fit their aesthetics perfectly, but hey, whatever. It makes them harder to kill, and that makes me happy as a DM. <laughs> um, and so what Poison Breath is, is it's a 15-foot cone of extremely toxic gas that it releases in however form you prefer to describe it. It could be from their mouth. It could just be from, like, you know, little vents on their shoulders or whatever you want to do. Or, like, an or iron, iron eyes. Man. It's poison eye beam. Yeah, or it just, like, bends over and just farts the gas. Whoever decides that deserves to die. Yes. Um, and... That's poison breath. And if you are in the poison cloud, you have to make a DC 19 con save or take 45 poison damage on average. That's 10 D8s. And not only is that extremely high, but if you succeed the save, you have to take half damage. So you're always going to be taking damage from this. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like a mini dragon breath, which is very unique for a, yes. uh, for monsters. Normally dragons only have it, but I guess this golem has it too. Yeah, and so you have the gorgon, which is another construct that that has a similar thing. And so this isn't exactly unique to them, um, but it is a very cool thing to pair with the construct. Because constructs obviously cannot be poisoned, so it does kind of make sense that they're able to store poison and release it and not worry about the effects. Right, yeah. Okay, that is the stat block for Iron Golems. Pretty scary stat block. You know, they're... It is. Scary stat block. You look at it, and you're just like, so how do I exactly kill it? Magic weapons. (laughs) Right, magic weapons. Lightning. Um, But even magic weapons may not do it if that magic is dealt in a way that they're immune to. So it can't be magical psychic damage or magical fire damage. You're going to be healing them if you do that, even though it's magical. That would be such a rip. Yeah. Your only fighter has a flame tongue. Right. Yeah. (laughs) Um, Okay. 